Hello Taurus! Welcome to your love reading. Let's see what messages will show up for you today. Taurus, this is a collective love message for your sign, Sun, Moon, Rising and Venus. So please take what resonates and how it resonates for your overall situation. Let's see Taurus, what do we have for you? Okay. Reflection options. Okay. So Taurus, what I am getting here is that you may be dealing here with someone who is very controlling, overprotective. And I feel that this, and it is because this is someone who, who is full of insecurities, they have trust issues. I'm getting very strongly here that, um, that you've tried to confront that issue. And I feel Taurus that you made a move, but it's like this person wasn't listening. You didn't kill someone who has very, very big ego. And I feel this is relatively a new, new connection for a lot of you. And it's like at the moment, you might be in that kind of energy of reflection. You might be kind of, you know, it's like reevaluating this whole situation, thinking what to do with it. Because it feels very strongly that this person, it's like they, they don't see the problem or they are inconsiderate, always think that they are right. This is, this is someone who is not listening. And they, I'm getting that this, is, they, this person knows that they, have, that they have certain work to do, that certain things need to be addressed, but it's like they are avoiding doing this. Time to confront issues. Exactly. Time to make a move in order to work on this situation. This is someone who needs to do the work themselves. You want to do this work for them. Yeah. I'm getting someone who can be quite quite a character, I would say. They can be a hard hard work. I feel that, you know, momentarily you might be getting that impression. Does this person have any feelings? I'm getting someone who just built a kind of wall and it's very difficult to get through it. You have options. I can tell you that, Taurus. You have options in love. But because they are acting that way, you might also get an impression that this is someone who likes to keep their options open and they are not taking seriously this connection. Because of they, the way they're handling this situation. I feel that the, it, this, this, this whole thing, it's, it's not ideal. And you might be heartbroken over this whole situation at the moment. Taurus. Let's see. Show me more about this situation, please. Chariot. Uh, you might be at the crossroads. Thinking what to do. Should I go that way or this way? I feel that you want to take an action. Nine of Wands. Six of Pentacles. Ace of Pentacles, Queen of Swords, Nine of Swords, Four of Wands, okay, Queen of Wands.
seven of pentacles six of pentacles the ace of pentacles give, give us seven of pentacles and that's the overall energy okay what i am getting here Taurus, that at the very beginning this person was very interested they were chasing you but at the moment like in the past they were chasing you but at the moment with the nine of wands i feel that you are unsure about this whole situation you have your guard up you don't trust this person there's something about the intentions we have a six of pentacles you might be feeling or you are unsure if this person is 100 percent focused on you taurus because with the six of pentacles you might feel that this person is breadcrumbing you and they are giving you attention and time only when it's convenient for them and actually with the six of pentacles you might feel that this person is equally giving to another situation ace of pentacles this is some sort of kind of a opportunity here that it's showing up queen of swords nine of swords yeah i feel that you know there was a communication and with the queen of swords it's like you addressed something here and i feel that you are very assertive about this whole matter because queen of swords energy is no bs energy essentially it's like you might be getting s simply uh slowly enough of that sort of kind of energy because yeah time is running out right this person needs to do something we have a nine of swords i feel this is someone here who really brought uh, that energy of an anxiety stress worry i feel that this person gave you a headache you were losing sleep or you are losing sleep over this person we have a four of wands ace of cups and queen of wands it wouldn't surprise me if this person said that they want to be with you 100 percent yes they want to create this relationship with you and here is the thing taurus this is specific reading it might not resonate with all of you because if you are in a happy connection or relationship that is not your reading but i need to say what the cards are showing me so if it doesn't resonate that's fine please check your other placements and only if you have a wish please check uh other readings I post, you know, six times a week. So very soon I will be posting another reading for you. Okay. And every time we, most of the time, we are connecting with a different collective. But here is the thing. What I am getting here, if you are wondering if this person because that's something that nine of swords you're unsure about six of pentacles they might be giving to another situation with the ace of pentacles and the queen of wands that is third party situation taurus this is someone who might have met someone and it's like they are not prioritizing this connection at the moment they might they might have gotten distracted with these options yeah seven of pentacles you didn't kill with the creature of habit this is someone who it's like it's very difficult for them to change uh, routine and i feel this person is very invested in the way they see certain things and the way they act but Queen of Wands is for its third party in a lot of readings. It might indicate here, you know, Taurus, that this person indeed is not prioritizing this connection at the moment. Um, third party doesn't need to kind of, you know, immediately suggest, it doesn't need to immediately suggest that this person got distracted and there is someone else that they are interested in it can but it doesn't have to third party can um indicate third party might indicate that this person is prioritizing here for instance lifestyle um, um 
their close related environment like family, friends, relatives, pers- in professional life, excuse me, career, finances, everything but not this connection. But let's see. Let's see. Show me this person's feelings. Towards Taurus. Eight of Cups, Two of Wands, Eight of Pentacles. Yeah, this is someone who might be your energy Taurus at the bottom of the deck. Hierophant. This person indeed might be at the moment prioritizing their work and they feel that like they need to choose what to do. You are on their mind though. Hierophant, this is us. There is something about them being very traditional having a very specific way of seeing a relationship, also some sort of kind of... I feel this person here kind of develop a dynamic in this connection towards like a teacher-student dynamic there is between the two of you, where this person is convinced that they know best and people should listen to them, that people should follow their lead and you are a student. You know, it's, you're dealing here with someone who is very self-centered, who might be quite selfish, but there is something about the ego that is huge. This is someone who has feelings for you, but with the, it's like the work here, it's, it's very important for them. Maybe it's their first love you know, just work. I feel that this person here at the moment it's trying to distance emotionally themselves from that situation. And it's like the distraction here might be indeed regarding, you know, they, they might be working and that's their distraction. But Hierophant also suggests that this person, on a subconscious level, they want a higher level of commitment with you. But it's, um, I will tell you here something, Taurus. I feel this is someone who's very manipulative, very controlling. They have big ego. They have feelings for you with the sound, though. We might be dealing with, with Leo. Okay, temperance. There is a need for moderation. This is someone who needs to change the attitude. Sagittarius, show me this person's actions towards Taurus. We have five of pentacles. dealing with Taurus five of Pentacles four of swords five of cups and we have your energy Hierophant Taurus angel number five 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 we have five of Pentacles five of cups and number five it's a Hierophant. So this angel number might be quite crucial for the situation it might be worth checking. What is the meaning behind this number as there is a guidance okay the action we have a five of pentacles four of swords five of cups and a hierophant i see this person it's like with the five of pentacles uh, 
Oh gosh, this is really weird. This is really odd. This person comes across as someone who doesn't understand or who doesn't want to understand where you from where you're coming from because five of pentacles is being left out in the cold with no support and no understanding and four of swords this person is doing this person is doing nothing because this is an energy of this is a passive energy four of swords five of cups and i feel this is really is making you unhappy because five of cups it's it's is this energy of regret maybe feeling that you know there is a, this lost opportunity for happiness you have feelings for them but the three of cups which represents that joy happiness togetherness you know and that opportunity and ability to share this happiness with another person it's it's in a cup in in a co completely different um it's like you might be feeling that it's lost i feel that you are heartbroken over this situation you might be dealing with another taurus big time and it's because this person is very they they they, they are not listening this is someone who, who refused to listen because they they're assuming that they know best knight of swords this person here will will want to address something but i don't feel that she will be particularly kind of happy about it in a sense i feel that they will kind of say what you're talking about they will approach this in a not particularly kind of um classy i don't want to say classy way because Knight of Swords is this energy of chaser, but at the same time, it can represent someone who is, who can be quite harsh with their words. But that's coming from the place of not wanting to see your point of view and not wanting to meet you halfway. And at the end, it might be a case that you will take a step back in order to reflect on this situation. It's like I'm seeing them saying to you what you're talking about. Why would you think that? I've told you many times. This is someone who has this tendency to flip the blame, blame shift, something like this. Blame shifting kind of thing. It's when you have a legitimate reason to have a conversation with them. They will just, you know, I feel this is someone who's very skillful with their words. And suddenly you might feel that it's that you are the one who created that situation and they made you feel you know like you're a you know in a bracket a bad guy metaphorically saying of course show me the outcome for this connection wow okay so we have the lovers the empress show me the outcome for this connection then we have a six of swords and we have a king of pentacles taurus um so you might be dealing we have very strong taurus energy your energy um gemini virgo okay king of pentacles suggests that this person wants to have their cake and eat it too look at him this is also a cut of stability you know we have the lovers with the empress this is a beautiful energy we have a six of swords for some of you i see you trying to work things out with this person taurus and I feel that there will be moment with the lovers and the empress that you will see that uh, that you will feel that this person is paying attention what you're saying to them that they are really want that they are really kind of feel this connection on a spiritual and emotional level with the lovers that they are recognizing that both of you are you know should be together 
with the empress you might be divine feminine or you are dealing with divine feminine but it's like i'm getting here very strongly that um I, I'm getting that if you are in a connection or relationship with this individual, you you will stay together. Okay. And with the Six of Swords, I'm getting that not immediately, but if the situation won't change, you might, you might at some point detach yourself from that situation, from that person. But I'm not seeing it happening anytime soon. No. Actually, I will tell you with the Lovers and the Empress, that um, things my kind of you might feel better about this whole situation I feel that this person will give will be giving you a lot of attention because there is something about them feeling that they might be losing you or you might be kind of really starting feeling in a certain way about the situation and connection and actually uh, you might be considering here walking away from that situation and this is where they will be really really affectionate very sweet very kind putting you on a pedestal giving you so many compliments that you will you will see this person trying very hard to in order to keep this connection I know that we didn't have the devil but I don't have it's it's i feel this is a difficult connection because this person has huge ego they don't listen they refuse to see your point of view and i feel this is also someone who can have quite dismissive um, attitude or they can be quite avoidant maybe they also you know it's like they how to say it um um it's like this person, um, you are having a conversation and they are just walking away in the middle of your sentence. And when there is a tre silent treatment from them, something like this, you didn't care of someone who has issues, who is very controlling, who doesn't want to listen, who thinks that they're always right. And this person needs to confront it's time to confront their issues. They need to make a move in order to heal from, uh, from that situation. This is someone who needs to do the work. But at the moment, I'm seeing them refusing to do that. But in the near future, can, you, you will notice that, you know, this person will put more effort with the lovers and the empress because that's what they are showing me. It's like this connection will move into more kind of, will experience more calmer times with there will be more tranquility and harmony in the situation but here is the thing we have a six to the three that give us nine and this is energy of hermit taurus you might be dealing with virgo you know uh, what i am getting here that irrespective of they um of them wanting to kind of keep this connection to keep you even wanting to be so um, affectionate there will be something that you will be still feeling quite lonely you might be feeling quite lonely in this in this in this connection you know because hermit is that energy of of going within being in a hermit mode someone sometimes you might feel that you know you are lonely in this connection because again this is someone who doesn't listen and it's like they want to have their cake and eat it too they want to have this connection their way but you can expect that in the near future i'm seeing both of you spending more time and them being really 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 nice and affectionate towards you Taurus, I will leave it here. Thank you so, so very much for being with me. Please like, share and subscribe. And once again, thank you very much for your time. I truly, truly appreciate you. Taurus, have a fantastic and absolutely wonderful day. And once again, thank you very much for being with me. I'm sending you much, much love. Till next time. Take care. Bye.